everyone! In this Techniques, Tips, and Tricks video, we will be talking about creating stonework and brickwork with a ballpoint pen. Seeing as the majority of tabletop roleplaying likely takes place in a medieval fantasy setting, your architecture will likely reflect what was available at the time, like mine does. Stonework, flagstones, bricks, and masonry are all going to be common features in your projects, and this ballpoint pen method can be used in both stonework and brickwork, and is my go-to method for large pieces. So let's get started. The tools and material I'm using are a ballpoint pen, XPS foam, aluminum foil, tweezers, and a clay sculpting tool with a pointy end and a flat end. This is a technique I use quite a bit. If you watched my Tudor's Medieval House video series or my Archbridge video, you will see this technique used there. I really like this technique because I can shape the rocks however I want, whatever size I want, and very easily. It can take some time, but it's much less tedious than other methods that I've done especially when working on larger surface areas. First, you'll wanna use a ballpoint pen with ink in it. Using a dry ballpoint pen will cause tearing in the foam. The ink not only shows you your line work, but it acts as a lubricant to help the tip of the pen glide across the foam and prevent that unwanted tearing. I have found it's also very important to try and keep your pen as vertical as possible. If you hold it at too much of an angle, you'll have a beveling effect on all your stones, which can make them look kind of slanted. You'll want to make sure you can avoid that as much as possible. You'll also want to trace each stone a few times to get the desired depth and to distinguish the individual stones from each other. After that, you'll want to texture all your stones before you do anything else. I like to use rolled up aluminum foil, but you can actually use real rocks or any other method that you think fits your style. We texture first so that when we go in and create varying depths on the piece by pushing in a handful of stones, they'll actually receive texture before they're pushed in. I like to use the flat side of the sculpting tool for this, but a flathead screwdriver works as well, or even a popsicle stick. To add small cracks, I use the pointy end of the clay sculpting tool. I don't typically add cracks to stones this small, but I wanted to demonstrate the technique. The last thing I do, if I'm making something look very rugged or even broken or old, is take these pointy tweezers and pick out chunks of foam. I typically like to tweeze out the edges of the stones and the corners of the bricks, being careful not to overdo this because it can make them look unrecognizable if you remove too much foam. Moving on to the brickwork, it is done in a very similar manner but with a bit more precision. I use a ruler and measure out the bricks to my desired size. Typically this is about a quarter inch by a half an inch or about six millimeters by 12 millimeters. I make even marks on both sides of the foam and then using the straight edge of my ruler I draw the long horizontal lines to connect them. I then measure out the other dimension of the bricks and draw my first row. You can measure these out again for the second row or just eyeball it, which is what I like to do. Again, it is important to trace around each individual brick so they can be distinguishable from other bricks near it. Not doing this or drawing shallow lines will result in not enough texture and it will just look like a grid. Remember to keep your pen mostly vertical and then you can add texture and any wearing or eroding in the same manner as a stonework. That's gonna wrap up things for this video of techniques, tricks, and tips. I hope you find use of these methods in your next project. Any of the tools I use in this video are in the description below. If there is any specific technique, tip, or trick you would like to see in a future video, please comment below and I'll add it to the list. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.